Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host. He prefers his cherries stemmed. The ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day, ice cream lovers. Welcome to the podcast. Nice to have you here. Thank you, Mr. Announcer Man. All the way from Australia. There are some people who think that that's actually me doing the intro. It's not. Uh, it's a guy by the name of Ben, found him on Fiverr.com. Great guy. Uh, so, so it's not me, but we appreciate his efforts nonetheless. Hey, want to thank our episode sponsor, which is ChocolateShopIceCream.com. A lot of people who want to either get into the business or grow their business really aren't culinarily motivated. They don't necessarily want to make their own product, but they want to sell some high quality ice cream. Then Chocolate Shop Ice Cream is the company for you. They sell three gallon tubs and other size tubs of ready-made ice cream. It'll be delivered to your store. You put it in your dipping cabinet, you scoop it, and Bob's your uncle. You're the uh, talk of the town so far as quality is concerned. ChocolateShopIceCream.com. Shoppy is spelt like the ye old Shoppy, S-H-O-P-P-E. ChocolateShopIceCream.com. Thank you, Dave, Sarah, and all of the crew up there in Madison, Wisconsin. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, let's talk in this particular episode about taglines. Um, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis into their business name. And it's probably one of the hardest decisions you'll make, apart from where you're going to put your location, is what you're going to call your business. Now, whether you use a name that's basically a family name, like Mr. C's Frozen Custard, Shirley's Frozen Custard, Dewey's Ice Cream, um, regardless of what you use, that name is one of the most important marketing images or statements that you have. When people jump into town, they get off the plane, they search best ice cream in St. Louis, they're not seeing images, they're not seeing photos of ice cream, all they get is a list of names. And that name is extremely important. But what also supports the name is a tagline. So you'll find that most of the very successful brands have their business name and then they'll have some sort of tagline underneath which basically directs the customer towards what you, the business owner, want them to think about your product. Now interestingly, a business like Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola haven't changed their names, or their business name for 100 plus years, but they have had different taglines um, under their business name or to promote their business, sometimes multiple taglines a year. I remember growing up in Australia, Coke is it, Coke had's life, I'd like to buy the world a Coke. Again, didn't change the name, but just had a, a tagline or a subtitle underneath that basically portrayed to the customer or the consumer what the experience was gonna be like in having a Coke. So when we opened up our frozen custard business in Australia, Frozen Custard was relatively new, if, if at all, on the east coast where we were situated. So we felt, even though our business name said Mr. C's Frozen Custard, we felt we needed to have a tagline, again, to kind of direct our customers towards what we wanted them to think of our business and what sort of products we sold. So our tagline was the world's finest ice cream. So even though people may not have known what Frozen Custard was, we described it in the tagline and it made it instantly recognizable for a lot of our new customers and those who are coming across our business for the first time. So what I would suggest to you is if you have a great name, find a good tagline. Now again, in the example of Coke, they can have multiple taglines or they have had multiple taglines for many, many years. You might wanna have a new tagline every single year. You might wanna keep the same tagline and have it really be the foundation for your business, your business name, and all of your marketing efforts. I would uh, caution you to make sure that the tagline that you're looking at has not already been trademarked or registered. In the United States, you can go to the government website, uh, USPTO, the US Patent Trademark Office, USPTO.gov, I'll put a link here underneath the show notes, uh, and basically that will help uh, you search and make sure that you're not using someone else's tagline. Very, very important. You don't want to encroach on anyone else's intellectual property. But look, if you don't have a tagline, why don't you talk to your employees, talk to family members, talk to your customers, and come up with a pretty cool tagline and put it underneath your name on your logo in all of your marketing processes. I think you'll find that will help you connect with your customers just that little bit more. Your customers will get an idea of what sort of experience they're going to have both with your ice cream and your environment, 
your entire business model based on your name and based on the tagline or the subtitle of your business. Thank you for tuning in. Again, thank you very much for Chocolate Shop Ice Cream. Their link is underneath here, as well as the link uh, to enter our 100th podcast episode prize giveaway, which is an extract pack. Again, scoopschool.com, hit the podcast tab, fill out the form, Bob's your uncle. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next episode.